Oh, hey there, how you doing? I'm Dara, and so this video is gonna be a little bit special, and I wouldn't say off topic, but not the conventional kind of videos I make. I've made 12 videos of my office before, but then I wanted to make something that sort of shows a bit more details into why I have what I have, and sort of walk you through this setup behind me and a bit of the secondary setup that actually goes into producing the videos i make for my youtube channel so it's going to be a pretty long video so stay tuned i will try as much as possible to time code every bit of the video so that you can jump to particular sections that might interest you because i've gotten questions like what's your setup like how can i set up the budget home office studio how can i set up something like yours how can i do this with my setup what kind of gadget shall i get for my home office or my studio setup and I wanted to walk through this in today's video and give you a bit of tour of my setup and maybe that will give you some inspiration into how you can set up your home office. Now, mine is a bit, I don't call it overkill, but it works for me. This setup right here works for me. And of course, the secondary setup in front of me where I do most of the sitting videos that you see, I'll show you a bit of those behind the scenes in a moment. So stay tuned for that. Now, this setup behind me here is a little bit of a, well, working stuff. It's always a work in progress. It's so, always something that I move around quite a bit. But the setup has been a bit consistent over the last six months. So I would probably say I'm confident of what I've set up here that it's mostly not going to change for the next couple of months. So let me give you a walkthrough. So if you look here behind me, you see I have a couple of screens, gadgets, and stuff. And to my side here is where I have the x central the desk mount and that is where i hang my amazon fire tablet that i use to actually just do alexa stuff around the house and it's pretty much handy and sturdy because it moves around i can adjust it to fit whatever position that i want it to be in and on the desk right here is where i have my old trusty kinect v2 for windows that i use for just windows hello login and also some sort of wide angle overall desk view uh, from time to time i don't usually use it but when i get to use it it's very useful for me and of course i got my water bottle i have a book here on the desk and then i have my main phone which is the samsung s21 ultra i've been using for about three four years now it's pretty nice i'm not planning to change it anytime soon and then right here i have the elgato stream deck plus that i use for controlling my computer for coding meetings streaming it just it does just more than streaming for me it does it's a productive device i need to i just need in my life and i'll make a video on it pretty soon after this video and then of course here i have my samsung galaxy tab s9 which is actually recording the audio right now with the Xiaolu wireless lav mic system that you can probably see clipped onto me right here so that is samsung tab s9 right there and i have my old nokia 7.2 here and I'll go to the screen later on, but wait, this headset right here that I use is a Logitech Zone Vibe 125. I've made a video on it in the past and I'll drop the link somewhere in the cards above so you can check it out. It's a really nice headset. It's it's kind of budget, it's kind of lightweight. So I really love using it for my meetings. It's got this flip to mode feature that I really like using. So that's that about the headset and I have the mirror box trim dock also that I use to control my live stream. I made a video on those previously, that is the Evisive. 16 inch portable monitor that i also use in my setup when i'm in the office when i'm on the road i also take it on the road with me okay, let's go to the screen here is a hp 24 inch monitor mounted vertically in portrait orientation this is where i mostly have my meeting charts uh for when i'm doing work when i'm not doing work i have my media library for editing videos coding and stuff right there and then here is my main screen where i actually do most of the work my coding my web browsing my video editing whatever main stuff i need to do goes on this philips 34 inch ultra wide curved screen and so the dell 20th monitor and on top of the philips monitor is where i have the quintis uh, linear desk lamp that i it's also pretty handy for me to use from time to time and when i say i actually control my office with this when i get into the meetings this might be a little bright now i can turn on my meeting light right over there and then that just shines on my face from that angle to be able to get into my meetings right there from my screen deck and then i have the five fine sc3 audio interface i, I sometimes i change this with the mono monocaster light or the monocaster 
new c2 new audio interface or the mono ps22 which i'm making a video for also pretty soon and here i have my google home device for playing music watching videos and doing lots of stuff from day to day and here also is an hp 24 inch monitor horizontal orientation the normal one people use also so those are kind of five screens and then i have my work laptop here depending on what i'm doing if it's a work day or not i might have my macbook pro mounted on this or my hp spectre x360 depending on what i'm feeling and most times i actually remote this into my main desk my main rig down under my desk where i have this connected uh via lan to the setup and then when i'm not doing that when i'm not remoting into the computer i actually have the static usb-c hub which is a quad 4k display hub that i just have a cable run through into my desk in so i have one cable out for all my display needs because this is a high powered laptop i have to supply extra power to the laptop when i am using the dock but if i'm using my hp spectre or my macbook pro i do not need that extra power my work laptop is a high powered one so i need that extra power in without having to think about you know it's slowly charging or discharging as i use it and then i actually i just have an extra cable here that goes into the portable monitor and then pretty much that is most of the main accessories on the decks but then i would not be doing a lot of justice if i did not tell you about the logitech mx master keyboard this is a very nice keyboard the mx keys is a very nice keyboard that i've been using for a couple of months now it charges via usb c can connect it up to three devices pretty super nice device really really super duper nice and then i've been using this for about four years now it's a little bit uh rusty you might want to say but it works for me that's the logitech m720 triathlon mouse that i have been using i love it so much but i might be changing it pretty soon for the mx master 3 years actually or if Logitech releases any new mx master keyboard i might go for that one but this has been working so far it hasn't failed me quite yet and then what is left on my desk the main things on my desk are actually that but then i have for my audio i have the solon l30 uh speakers that i connect to my main desk downstairs so it's actually for my main desk when i'm connected to my work pc i actually just use this headset for audio because you know that's what i need or oh, sometimes I might use this Gico J65 USB headset for gaming. It's meant for gaming, but because I don't play games, it works also for meetings, listening to monitoring audio when I'm doing my video edition and stuff. It just sort of works like that for me. Uh, pretty much that is my main desk. Oh, I almost missed it. I have the Evo Media Boom Amp right on my desk connected to the 5 and K669D microphone. And I have my wireless router just right there behind me i have a couple of lights now if i come a little bit over to this side that is something i wanted to sort of get into in more detail if we go over on this side you see over there is a newer g01 pro it's that i just turned on for you now and a little bit behind there is another desk lamp that just gives a little bit of accent to the setup and up there is my light this right here is the light i use that shines on me on the deck setup so you can sort of see what that really feels like then if i go in a little bit there over there is my upspot tiny 4k webcam although i need switch it sometimes with the upspot tiny so depending on what i want to do from day to day and that is generally what that setup looks like let me go back and you know go into what talk about so that's what the setup generally looks like it works for me and that is my main desk but then i wouldn't be doing a lot of justice if i didn't tell you about the flower maker seat stand desk that i've been using for about a year now uh i got it because of course i was tired of back pain then i decided a little bit of mobility around the home office will actually be nice and healthy for me so i got it and then i've been using it i love it so much now and i mostly actually just stand when i'm doing my work i sit sometimes also depending on the kind of work and it has programmable height adjustments that I can go down 72 centimeters goes down that way and then i can see it do my work and when i'm done sitting down i can go in my normal height mode which is pre-programmed three at about one or five centimeters it just comes up to me and then i turn around do my work i'm happy at the end of the day and then whenever 
I feel like walking, jogging or running, I'm going to show you I have the city sports treadmill that I put under the desk here and just walk while I walk. I'm going to show you that in another video entirely. I don't want to go so much into that. I'll show you also in this video later on. And that's pretty much my deck setup. I have some stuff mounted here on the desk. It's the, I forgot the name now. That is just a normal desk shelf that I just put some accessories on. It has a wireless charging pad over there and it just works. Now, let's go a little bit behind the scenes and walk through what you normally see when you watch some of the videos what actually you do not see behind the scenes so right here so whenever i look smart in my videos this is what i use this is the glide j tmp 100 teleprompter that i use for i just marked my camera back here just behind this oh and then you can see that view where i just zoom in and then this is where i talk when you see me doing all the smart videos if i just come around here i can make the videos and everyone thinks i'm very really smart well Maybe I'm a little bit smart, but then that is what I used to uh, sort of have my key points or my scripts in front of me to read while I'm doing that. But this video is not scripted, so that is why you're not seeing all that smartness come out of this video. And then if we go a little bit off to the side, when you see all those behind the scenes video that I shoot, this is what I shoot it on. This is the Fatex Corp Mini. It's the first generation one it's nice although they've released the version 2 of this now but i'm not getting it i will use this one until it breaks on me and then if you look a little bit now i have the five fine mic arm no profile but my cam of course i have the mono mic on it right here that i use for the videos and then i have the buy easy usb-c orb that connects via hdmi to an external display and on there i have the logitech pebble keyboard and mouse combo i have my inner monitors the mono sc3 that i told no the mono caster c2 new i told you earlier on and this is the remote controller for my treadmill so whatever i want to exercise i just turn it on and then i get fit I like the mafic season you get the gist yeah but i'm gonna stop that now yeah because i don't need to trade off but then i don't exactly them on my desk i store them out here so that i can pick them and put them on my desk while wow. my unboxing stuff mostly goes in here the ones that are in the backlog to work on they mostly go back here for use and then of course i have some storage right here in the office that i put stuff on you might probably have seen this this is my very old trusted samsung g track pro I forgot her name now but it's a very nice usb microphone uh that's my saxophone right there my iwi my shaker and then just some general line storage in the office my printer right there and that is my main rig and uh the static usb of i told you about earlier on this is where that goes into this is the connection right there the back here is a bit messy but i sort of like that because i move my setup around quite a number of times so i don't want to get a bit in the mix but if you look at it from the wide angle we mostly do not see all that mess but i don't mind having to see all that mess because sometimes the mess is actually really fine I don't mind seeing that then i have some lights and to part my main setup this is my desktop computer it's a custom build i've made a video on it i'll drop the link somewhere in the top here for you to see i have some uh cable management going on there it's not the best cable management but then it's neater than when the cables are dropping right there and then i told you that when i'm not remoting to my computer how do i manage this place I have HDMI switches below my desk that I just swap from one to two and then the displays pop on over and then I have the power socket over there that's my main storage drive it's a 14 western digital drive it's working it's fine so far I'm actually planning to replace that with a NAS so I can access my files remotely on any computer and not just this main rig of course I have some automation set up for how I transfer my files when I finish shooting but that's true for another day and that is a close-up view of what the setup really looks like i'm not using the gimbal here because i sort of just want to show you in real view what the setup looks like so that's it right there now i have people probably wondering oh i've not shown you this this is the upspot tiny two webcam uh you probably have seen some of my reels where i show a top-down view 
of my back or my face working this is the camera that actually shoots that and i connect it over there to that laptop to have that shoot but of course that's something i can shoot from there that's other light i mostly have my light bounced off the ceiling because i don't want so much bright light on my face uh for shooting my videos it works for me i like the quality i get out of those videos so i'm actually keeping that setting for quite some time and pretty much that is what the office looks like if you have a wide view when you come in, this is what you get welcome to and i think i love the way it feels i love what i've done with it i, I enjoy coming here but then i'm shooting this you probably have not seen the video on a canon r50 mirrorless camera i mostly use this 55 to 210 lens for shooting my videos when i'm mounted on the stellar prompter because i'm moving the fit for the back from the videos but then currently today i'm using the 18 to 45 lens which is fine because it captures wide and go and then i can do a bit of zooming into the view of the office and i hope you really enjoyed it and most times i am mounted for the starting part of this video i actually shot this using this nice tripod right here you see that tripod there is what i shot with it's falling off now yeah i must actually put the camera out of the room to shoot my videos because of that zoom capacity it's about this distance that i put the camera in and then i dial it in to that view to do that but i do that on the on that tripod if i'm doing the general videos i just put it on the stand here clamp it in and then it just it just works and then i can dial in the view i mostly go about this focal length 35 mil get the camera as close to me as possible without the dog getting on the wood I'm actually making this as practical as possible of how i would shoot because i want you to have a good view of what goes behind the scene of all the beautiful videos you see and then i come into the office do my talk and then that's it uh it's a long tour video i know that and i hope you really enjoyed it i did it as raw as possible as i could and i think that's pretty much it oh i forgot this sometimes when i go on the road i use this or this mic that's the Synco g2a1 now most of the products i mentioned in this video were given to me by the brands that i work with to review for them and i get to keep the devices after but then so of course there are some of the devices i bought this monitors i bought with my own money the desk i bought with my own money but most of the other devices uh, were given to me by those brands to actually just review for them and share my opinion on what i think about them and i think i have loved this greater journey so far that i don't think there's a looking back anytime soon and if someone was to ask me what advice i would give to myself i was just starting up my youtube journey again i would say don't sweat it don't sweat it at all just start start with what you have then go from there all those things i have right here i did not start that way i did not start with having four five six screens i started with just uh a little hold laptop with a crt monitor if you know what those monitors felt like that's what i started with and then i grew from there i started streaming on my content creation journey for real on this mic right here and then i graduated into using this then other mics just came along the way the gadgets the devices the you know the reviews everything just came along the way so if you want to start your creator journey today i mean today i will advise don't break the bank if you have the budget for it yes spend the money but if you do not have the budget start with what you have and go from there because of course you also want to experiment if this thing will work out or not for me youtube is not my main source of revenue i don't make a lot of money on youtube quite yet my main my main job is still my main source of revenue maybe someday in the future i might retire with youtube but not yet or uh, with podcasting i don't know yet i don't know where that will take me but then i think i just love creating stuff i just love making videos i just love playing with gadgets that i i just make the videos just put a camera at myself after i've written the script sometimes and just shoot today I'm just shooting. I'm not because I'm not scripting anything. I actually, second thing, I actually plan to script this video. I've been writing the script for about three months now, but then I was like, 
What's the essence of writing all that script and not getting the work done actually? Why all the planning, why all the ethics? Some videos, don't get me wrong, some videos require loads of planning. But this one, I don't think should require that much of a planning. I should just show it, show you what it looks like to be me in my creative journey. And I think that's what I've done in this video. And I really hope that uh, got someone's attention and you're able to get your creative journey started. I would say, don't swear, they just start. Just get a camera, your phone that you that I use now is probably the best camera you can ever start with. Start with that. And then once you have some change in your pocket, you can get a fancy camera. You can get the fancy mics, you can get the boomers, the shorts of this world, the monos, the five fine mics of this world. And I do a lot of reviews on this guy, just so you can pick out anyone that is actually budget in your range to start with if you want to upgrade from the current device you have. But I think one thing, two things I would say that are mostly important for making video, edit your audio to be fine. There are features out there. Audacity is one of the features you can start with. There are pre video editing software, DaVinci Resolve, Cap Holds. Loads of them are there you can use. So you don't need to actually spend a lot of money. Just ensure you get good lighting enough lighting really you don't need to go spend hundreds of dollars hundreds of thousands of naira on the setup if you if it will pay you to spend that amount of money if you don't mind spending that amount of money that's fine uh, so just get good audio get decent video i won't say i won't even say great quality video get decent video get good audio get decent lighting and just get started and i hope that's it yeah and let's get back to work now people and i'll be seeing you in another video if you enjoyed this video so far, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and let me know what you think about my setup in this video. And until I come your way yet again with another video, I will say stay safe and goodbye. I'll see you again in the video.